Hello again, guys, my dear artists, my dear students. Now with this next topic that it's going to be the changing colors effect. Uh, so just go ahead and open up the, from the files or any picture you like uh, that want to change the color with. If you want to work with me in, on this video, just open up this picture, uh, the B. So uh, to do this, it's very simple, basic tools, basic uh, painting tools from the Photoshop uh, tools uh, here bar, the toolbar. Uh, we'll just do it very quickly. If you want to do um, many effects, for example, in a photo of a person, if you want to maybe change it from black to white and maybe from, I don't know, change the color of the skin or the color of the eyes, it can also be done uh, with, this, uh, with this technique. Just uh, learn the basics and then try and apply it to your mode, a little bit more complicated picture. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, paint this um, paint bucket tool. I'm going to do three pictures and then we're going to put them together to make the effect. Okay, for example, here I'm going to choose, I don't know, red. Oh, sorry, I just want to color the blank spaces. Okay, and then blue. And we'll finish with a yellow. And that's it then. Okay, I like it. I'll uh, change the first picture, B1, and save it. Uh, be sure to save the file on a folder that you'll remember. So put together the three pictures. Okay, B1 on desktop. Let's save it as a, okay, there it is. Then I'm going to change, um, instead of blue, I'll change it to yellow. Then what was blue ones? I'm, I'm going to just to do something quickly to change the colors. You don't have to do exactly as I'm doing right now. Uh, okay. And then here I've changed to Jello. B2. Okay, save the picture. I already have a B2. Then on desktop. Um, for the last one, I'll choose just some different colors. Change the Jello to purple. Then I'll choose orange for the blue. And then change the green to red. No, red not because it's very similar to the other one. Just make sure that you don't repeat the colors. For example, if you use this space once for blue, be sure that you're not repeating the same color on the third or the second picture because then it's going to be repeated and the effect won't be as good as we want it to be. Okay, and that's it. B3. Now save my pictures to desktop. And then and we can close this. Go ahead and look for your caliber the caliber that you use for the lines for your printer. And um, in on my case, I use the 720, 49.5. Okay, now let's select the colors. If you, I recommend, high, highly recommend that you save the, the, the lines that we use on a different file once you have them ready clean lines without the yellow the sorry the the white spaces so it's simpler that way you don't have to repeat the steps again and again but on this occasion i'm going to repeat them just because for you guys to refresh the memory on how to do it okay transform it and do it this way. Now the next step is uh, a little bit different. We are going to duplicate the layer of the lines two times. So we have a total of three layers. Duplicate, duplicate. 
So we have layer one, layer two, and layer three, because we are going to be using um, three pictures. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to do a fourth one, just to show you again, uh, to cover the spaces of the guide that we use to physically align the pictures once we have them printed. Okay, and this one, and I'll rename it as guide. Okay, next step, we zoom in, and we notice that in a 720, remember that we, we will have a 14 spaces, and on a 600 DPI, you should have here uh, 12 pixels, 12 spaces. So I have four of my line, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's 14. So I'll go, just go ahead and cover them all. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And, and you'll notice that you have two spaces left. What we do here is we select, for example, on this side, I'm going to choose um, to duplicate again the most uh, one just to use the one pixel i'm going to duplicate this one this layer so i just choose it be sure that this is the one duplicate then just move it one line and merge the layer so instead of four now you have five and do this exact same thing with this one so just look it up be sure that you're selecting the correct one here it is second one so you just duplicate the layer move it exactly to the left and then merge the layer this is layer three so now you have uh, the guide we want you to be using it right now uh, the layer one it's four spaces layer two it's five to the right and layer three it's also five to the left. So we have a total of all the spaces now black. Okay, next step, we go and look for our bees, our pictures, and just put them above all the lines. Like this. And same step as the other videos. Layer and picture, layer, picture, layer, picture. Okay, and the B goes above the picture above the lines. Okay, and then just uh, press Alt and start transforming the pictures into thin lines. Okay, so look like this, and if you close up. You already have it all covered up, so you won't be needing to move the lines again because we did that step before transforming into thin lines. So that's it. It's already uh, printing ready, but I'm just going to... Okay, I forgot. Uh, let's merge them. Merge layers. So we have only the three pictures left. And I'll be deleting the excess of the lines on the left side. For, oh, for the three pictures. the solid eraser so it'll be quicker that's it now on the right side that's it and now we'll just be leaving a little bit of space uh, for the guide around the picture Okay, and I will need to erase also the upper part 
here because it's still showing some of the lines of the previous pictures of the piece. That's it. Now we just use the guide. And that's it. We have the guide ready. Okay, now you have it printing ready and I'll print it out and I'll show you how it should look. So you can do it at home and do it with us and see if it fits with my picture that I just do, uh, that I just did and it should uh, be kind of similar. Okay, and here's the picture ready. It should look something like this. Uh, the effect, it's not necessarily a changing photo effect. Uh, this is very cool if you want for maybe don't necessarily design something for a picture and a transition to another picture or morph picture, but just the uh, colors that uh, make the same picture, but it's very, very neat effect. Um, you can try maybe with orange, red and yellow and kind of make like a fire effect, lava effect. There's also metallic uh, effects that you can try with a uh, gray, orange, gray, sorry, gray, white and black or there's uh, infinite possibilities with all the colors. So that's it. Um, see you in the next lesson.